Well, hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Don and Gilson, 908 in the AM, 9-1-2012. Happy September 1st to you all. Well, this is going to be the last video that I do in regards to the shills. Uh, over the weekend, or over the last few days, uh, we have been doing some serious investigating into how to get my channel back up. And uh, we actually did get a reply uh, back from YouTube. And basically, this video is going to be showing how defamation of character and how these shills are absolutely giving lying bullshit uh, all throughout the channels and also threatening others that are supporters of me. Uh, on Monday, this Labor Day, on FreedomizerRadio.com, if you tune into my show at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, going all the way till midnight, uh, we will be doing an exclusive show, uh, some very important information. You are going to want to tune into that show for sure, because within the first 15 minutes of that show is going to the most, be the most in, uh, intense information that you ever heard coming out of my mouth. Uh, and uh, it is going to be something that you're going to want to tune into. So definitely go to the description box below. I will leave the link to Monday Night Show. Now, if you, uh, on uh, a couple days ago, before it's news, uh, there was an article called 32 Degrees of Insanity, YouTube Account Termination, The Real Truth. And it goes, it should be noted that it clearly states in no uncertain terms, both within the body of YouTube's uh, terms and conditions, and on each DMCA claim filed by Gilson, that a YouTube would terminate the channel on any account holder that engaged in deliberate abuse of DMCA process. In the case of Gilson, the abuse centered, now, and it goes on and on, because they're trying to say that the reason why my account was shut down was because I fall, filed some false DMCAs on all these people. However, I did get a, uh, a reply back from YouTube that proves the complete ladder, and we're going to go into that. But when you press on this air, this this little area right here, unfortunately, you can't see it because it goes well. This is embarrassing. We can't find that page anymore. Well, the owners of Before It's News know that this is propaganda that is being uh, put before you know. And if I was so important or so not important, why would they want to promote their agenda on Before It's News? Now, of course, if we know that I, you know, we had the urgent alert from Dutch Sense, YouTube shut down Ursu Adams' 32 Degrees of Insanity YouTube channel. Let's get it back. But when you go down to the comments section, you can see here, here is the counter bin article lays out the truth about what is really going on. Well, I have all that information. I'm not going to share it with you. They're saying that they filed some sheriff's report, that I'm a criminal because the, the reason why they're saying that I fought filed some sort of false DMCA was because I didn't share my address. But, you know, I am an on-air personality. I'm going to protect my anonymity at all costs. And, you know, if they tried to bring that to a court of law, that's uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, that, that's a funny thing. But they're trying to declare me as a criminal. However, here's the funny thing, guys, because this is going to prove it all to you guys right uh, here and there. All right, I'm back here. So anyways, here is the uh, letter that I got back from YouTube in regards to the Ursu Adams and Gmail account. Uh, and uh, this is what, what the information is that was sent to me. It goes, Hi, Ursu Adams. Thanks for your email. Your Ursu Adams account has been suspended, not terminated, due to repeat or severe violations of YouTube's term of service or claims of copyright infringement. Suspended accounts cannot be reinstated. Federal law requires that we terminate accounts where there are replete pre repeat claims of copyright infringement. Because you have had other videos rejected in the past, we are unable to reinstate your account. Users will suspend or terminate accounts are prohibited from creating new accounts or accessing the YouTube's community. Community. This is all about new accounts. I haven't created a new account. This is actually an account that we've had for a very long time. So they're trying to uh, be little tattletales and say that uh, we're going to shut down his other account here as well. But I want us to go, in order for your account to be reinstated, you need to resolve at least one of the following video removals. This is the reason why my channel got shut down, guys. It wasn't anything to do with DMCAs. It was this penalty. This was one that was flagged back in 11:30:11. Uh, if you've been following me for some time, you remember that video that I did in regards to Newmar Station, where we overloaded it. We actually shut down Newmar Station because I forget what the whole process was, but that we had so many flags on that particular video saying that it was spam and all this, uh, that they shut this down. 
And then, of course, if you remember this one, new 32 degrees of insanity, 229.12, B1938666, Nibiru, BIRS, Soho Stereo, Newmar Station, and more. This was the particular video of my radio show uh, that we had Arizona on, and Arizona was talking about the arrest of Timothy Geithner, uh, Benjamin Fulford's information. All it was was my radio show, and it got completely flagged and uh, stating that it violated the terms of service. So right now, I've got my legal side working on this. Of course, I've been uh, talking to some uh, some people that have actually reached out and uh, said that they would offer their services for me. So basically... Uh, uh, this is what uh, we're working on right now. has nothing to do with DMCAs. All it has to do with is because I have two penalties and then another third penalty probably came. And uh, this is the reason why. Because they flagged my videos. As I said, an organized effort. The proof is in the pudding. It has nothing to do with, uh, with copyright infringements or DMCAs. All it has to do with is what they flagged and tried to shut me down. You can see it right here in print because it goes the following videos have been removed from your account, okay? And I don't know why it says 831-2012 because they were removed a long time ago. So it looks to me that another one was flagged as well or a lot of videos were flagged and uh, that third strike hit. So that, that would make make sense why the uh, the channel was, was shot down. So anyways, this we have heard Illuminati Symbols 13 and also Madison 2011 have been threatened. Uh, I want to show you a specific thing here that's happening right now. Uh, and if you're a follower of T-Bar, um, I really would uh, actually reconsider your following because he goes like this. He goes, yep, looks like old Donnie convinced someone else to play the fool. It will be back, just like wasting time with Donnie's video is back. As I told Donnie, do you understand what will happen to you if you bring this type of claim in front of a judge? I hope she doesn't have any young children. CPS is a bitch. Let me, let me repeat that to you. This was a threat made by T-Bar 1984 to our wonderful person just for making a video. Just for making a video here, uh, Illuminati Symbols, you know, she filed a copyright claim. You know, it was her stuff. But, of course, she filed a copyright claim. And now, T-Bar is threatening to call Child Protection Services on her. Why would, she, why would he do that just because over a video? See, these are threats, guys. These are exactly the type of bullshit artists, con artists, that these guys are that are uh, manipulating everybody into thinking. Even Madison calls, he goes, Hey Donnie, I was away today and, I, and the asshole zombie boy was all over my comment thread with asking me if I enjoyed my strike and making threats that Illuminati symbolism uh, will meet the same fate as, as your old channel. Piece of shit. Anyway, I removed some of the garbage but left someone to show his true stalker heater troll status. I blocked his ass. I need to warn Lizzie. Okay, so now we've got uh, zombie boy. He is completely going after everybody that, uh, you know, he's just just like the stalker he, he is. I go, I'm very tired of the trolls who attack my supporters. Recently, T-Bar 1984 threatened the make of the Dual Sun car video by stating that they were going to call child protection on her for making a video about Dual Suns. This is what is happening to subs that support my efforts. If you have been threatened, please email me privately. I'm taking all the information that I've collected to proper authorities. This is getting out of hand. And of course, we got several replies back. I got several emails, actually even photos and pictures of emails that were sent to people that have been threatened by these people. Uh, and uh, T-Bar, Fog Haze, Zombie, uh, just to name a few. Uh, truth researcher, the truth re researcher, uh, astronomy something. Uh, there's just the list goes on and on. So you guys could believe what you want, but also you can see that there is now an organized effort here to try to say, you know, why all of this got turned down because of false DMCA's, and that I should never be allowed on YouTube. That I'm a criminal. Why am I so important? Why am you have to scratch your head and think? Why do these people? have such an obsession with me. It's because they can't live without the drama. And of course, our good old Pharaoh uh, puts up a 32 degrees of lies, my personal response to the lies being said about Donnie Gilson. Uh, whatever. <laughs> He's a jerk off with a failing channel, so who gives a crap? Anyways, we also have Celtic Princess, the, the infamous video that a world, the woman that I called a C-U-N dot because of her continual harassment. Actually, this lady actually harasses 
a person that I, you know, I, I like. His name is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. A lot of people, you know, he thinks he's God or whatever. But uh, we have proof that this Celtic princess lady uh, has been stalking uh, several of the supporters of Brian Golightly Marshall. Basically, uh, we have some information that she has gone around threatening that they're going to slit her, they're going to, she's going to slit their throat. Uh, and uh, that, uh, this is an atheist movement, by the way. I want to make sure that everybody knows this, that if you look into a lot of this as a satanic or atheist movement that is working on this or government shill. So we all know that what the truth is and what the facts are. Of course, my Facebook page, if you want to get information uh, of what's going on uh, and keep updated, you know, this is going to be the last video in regards to the shills are concerned. Uh, we want to move forward and start working on, on the, uh, the task at hand. A lot of people say this sounds like a broken record, but we're, we're building something here. We're building a case against these people uh, so that we, you know, we can see that there is purely threats that are done as well. If you want to go and subscribe to our Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash Ursu Adams and I also implore you to write YouTube in regards to the threats that T-Bar 1984 has done in regards to Illuminati uh, symbolism uh, in regards to calling child protective services on this lady for making a video and, and uh, just putting out what she thinks is true you know, we all have a right to believe dual son or whatever is real or not. You know, it's both sides of the coin. But to get the government involved in regards to child protection services is absolutely crossing the line. Or if she even has kids, I don't even know. Uh, but if she's 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 been a you know she's a decent person and has no rights to be harassed as that. And she actually wrote me an email stating that she has been completely stressed out. She's never had uh, this. Um, type of harassment before in her life and she's receiving uh, hundreds of emails in her in her email box threatening her so this is this is the type of people that we're dealing with so I want to make sure that you go to freedomizerradio.com on Monday make sure that you tune in to 32 degrees of insanity uh, and we're going to be giving some information of what's going what where we're moving forward what is the uh, what is the agenda also you can join me on truth frequency radio of course this weekend and why do I always say of course, of course? I have no idea. Because of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Maybe that's fine. Uh, but anyways, the um, Truth Frequency, we're down for the for the weekend because Chris and Cherie are moving into their new place. Uh, so congratulations on their new home. We're really excited for them. They're going to have a bigger, bigger place, bigger studio, all that good stuff. So we're down this weekend, but we'll be back next Saturday uh, on uh, September, I want to say September, what is it? September 7th? September 8th. We'll be back on September 8th uh, to bring us to bring the special edition of 32 Degrees of Insanity. But you will want to be make sure that you join us at freedomizerradio.com on Monday. And just another way to prove that this is an organized effort. Actually, before it's news, uh, this so-called truth researcher has 13 recommended contributors, 12 recommended stories. To become a recommended contributor, you have to have one, for every 100 people, you have to have you, you, you get one recommended contributor. So for every 100 people, you get one. Okay, so he's got 13. So that means 1,300 people have recommended this contributor. But however, when you look at what he has actually contributed, since we took out his last, his last uh, particular one, he only has one story up with 990 views. So this is how we know it is a consorted effort. Also, there is something else going on here. It goes, thanks for your kind words. Donnie's a jackass, but he's a jackass with 10,000 YouTube followers. So he is a dangerous jackass. He will find it bitter hard off YouTube. So basically with my 10,000 supporters that I had on my old YouTube channel, we're starting to build here, of course, right here, 1497. We're getting up there. The word's getting out that I'm out here. And you know, as you can see, we're getting subscribers left and right here uh just awesome to see all of you subscribing to us as well i mean it's just uh, endless uh subscribers that we have been getting since we started uh on this new channel as well currently there is a he has another channel which i write is still up it also has two views on it at the moment 32 degrees of insanity one from five months ago and the other is uploaded appealing to his fan miss edna thrib at 57 blank avenue they're revealing people's uh information so be careful guys your your uh addresses are being put up. This is why they're trying to find out your addresses so they can expose your addresses. God bless. Tune in to 32 Degrees of Insanity this coming Monday as I expose a lot. And you're going to want to listen.